All right, well, today is October 21st, and in case you did not know, it is Back to the Future Day falls on this date because October 21st was the date in the movie when Marty McFly originally travels to the past and sets in motion his existential adventure. Yes, it's a buildup. This it? year also <laughs> marks 35 years since the first movie in the series was released, and there's a fun event going on in Old Sacramento to celebrate it. Mike Tassell joins us live to explain. I remember seeing the previews for this. It's like 11, 12 years old, something like that. Like, this is the one to see. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you might be asking, well, why are we standing outside stage nine in Old Sacramento this morning? Well, because this could also be called I'm over it 2020. And so there's an alternative date that we can go to as Paul goes into the old DeLorean for the Back to the Future. How about we go back to November 5th, 1955? That's what Marty McFly did. And that was a time before this pandemic. But really, what's going on here at Old Sac? Well, this morning, we're kind of giving you a preview of what you can do this weekend if you're looking for something to do. And that is see an exact replica of the DeLorean you used in that movie, including the Mr. Fusion home energy reactor, uh, part of the flux capacitor uh, system here with the DeLorean from the Back to the Future movie. You can come down to Old Sac 10 to 4 on Saturday. Take your own pictures, your own selfies with this car. It is an exact replica of the car used in the movie that Michael J. Fox was in. What is Back to the Future Day all about? Well, it was initially started as a way to raise money for Michael J. Fox's foundation and has been continuing since 2015. The interesting thing about this is not only can you come down and take a picture with it and kind of relive a different time, a time that wasn't 2020, but did you know, I found out, Troy Carlson from Stage 9, who is the guy behind this exhibit, he said there's a guy in Texas who actually does this for a living, makes exact replicas of the Michael J. Fox car from Back to the Future. All you need to do is find the exact model of the old 1981 DeLorean, send it to him, and then what you get back is this, the exact replica all the way down to the Mr. Fusion home energy reactor. So again, if this is uh, catching your eye and your ear this morning, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4, you can come down and take a picture, or Paul, if you take it, look right behind you. I'll give you an example of what you can do right now. You have until 9.30, like that woman. You can come down and get a picture of the car. Uh, again, it'll be here till about 9.30 this morning because this is really a preview event to let you know about Saturday. But again, if you can get out the door right now and get down to Old Sack, take your own pictures. Come see it for yourself. But if that's a little too quick of a turnaround, then this weekend. 10 to 4 here in Old Sack, right outside Stage 9. And of course, Stage 9 will also have some memorabilia, replica stuff that you can buy and uh, take home as a reminder of a time before COVID, a time back in 1955 when the flux capacitor played quite a role in the mid-1980s when this uh, movie came out. What do you think, Teo, Deirdre? Oh, man, just take me back to... January and I'd be happy at this point. I'll take it for a spin. I love that. Oh man, <laughs> seriously, right? Why don't you go farther back in time? Nope, nope that's all I January need. January sounds that's fine. It. Thank you, Mike. Everything fun, was shiny back then. Fun story, cool thing to see. All right, appreciate it.